All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday. That means we're playing the Necros. Uh, I haven't really adjusted the, the deck to the new list yet, but I probably will be getting to it sooner or later. Uh, but that being said, uh, hopefully I can still do this deck. Like, this deck didn't get hit on the list too hard, besides just Northern 1. Outside of that, I think the deck is fine. This deck has got its beatings. It's, it's, it's already received its lumps, so we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, as you can tell by the title, yes, the car is finally complete. Uh, it took $1,500 in about three weeks of time, but finally it is fixed. And uh, it feels so nice just to have a working car again. Like, I, I don't know what it is. It's just, it just Sometimes it just seems like I can't have nice things. <laughs> like, since the... This will be, I'm going on four years since I've been 18. I'm going on 22 in June. Uh, since then, I've pretty much gone through this will be my third car I had uh, wow ignite dino miss like what is this so it is hello <laughs> I've gone through I had a an intrepid and the engine blue and uh, we scrapped that car then I of course had my Monte Carlo for a cool minute and then the, the repairs just weren't worth the value of the car so we end up getting that one now we're up to um, uh, I think it's a 2005 uh, Chevy uh, Aveo, like it, it, it's nothing, you know, too spectacular, but it, it's a nice little car, you know. Uh, anxiety setting in because, of course, we're going to get the pendulum based deck. Like, ugh, at least, at least, Wavering Eyes is banned. I mean, I guess you could say, you know, that was a nice counter for people who weren't playing pendulum decks to counter pendulum based decks, but we have other cards for that. Literally, they, that's not a good, valid reason. There's no doubt in everybody's mind that fucking pendulums. Where straight up, just waver not just straight up to enable plays involving uh, pendulum based decks, tutoring and sacking each other. So, but uh, I, there's no way I can win this duel. Clearly, clearly it's gonna go into infinity as null. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. I mean, there's really no point in me doing this duel. A fucking unicorn, new badge specter unicorn, and infinity. Like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just gonna scoop it up. No cards in the graveyard for me to use my trash. Like, nope, nope, nope. Get another duel, bear bad. Alright, we're back. It just goes to show how powerful the pendulum mechanic is. I mean, come on, I'm playing Necros. Like, the, the hot shit right before it got fucking crushed, and I just get destroyed by a pendulum based deck. I mean, what you gonna do, right? What you gonna do? Drew one Garnet, at least have another one, so if I draw into a Brilliant Fusion, I still have them played. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, like I said, there isn't too much time for this deck to remain on uh, here on, uh, on Daily Duels, but, you know. I uh, believe yeah this week and then next week and then we'll see what happens from there But you know, I think that this deck has definitely uh, lived it lived its prime You know, it, it's, it's had its fun times here. I search for a Necros monster Search you I can go ahead and search for any Necros card since I can search for that Trish and I'm gonna go ahead and pitch Colossalus and get uh, that uh, uh, That Kaleido and go ahead and do that play because what do you add? I had a level 7 monster for my deck to my hand, okay? So I can add a Colossus with that and then add a ritual spell from the graveyard, okay? Go ahead and play you. Go ahead and send you. I said, I mean, Norton going down to one doesn't hurt this deck too much. I don't think I've done multiple Norton Institution plays ever in this deck, but you know, it's still good to have those plays nonetheless. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and grab a Trish. I mean, of course, I'm not going to be Trishing him this turn, but maybe possibly next turn. Go ahead and pack with these two, then turn you two into a uh, Wrath. <laughs> Simple as that. But, uh, yeah, the car is finally complete. The mechanic, like, ah. The mechanic was starting to piss me off. He really was. The car turned on, and I don't know what's up. In his mind, he's like, the car turns on, my job is done. But when you drove it, it would just, it would just completely just mess up, malfunction. It was just, it was just a terrible time. It really was. And for him to just think that he could just leave the car in that state and just leave, it's, in, in, it's just not, it's just not cool, you know? So we literally had to tell this man, drive the car. Like, what kind of mechanic doesn't test drive the car, you know? So it would start up, but after it would start up, it would, you know, proceed to not accelerate. It would turn off, like... He literally drove it, I'd say, about three streets down, 
and then back and in between the time the car shut off like three times and it caused a lot of trouble like i drove like maybe like two streets down just to go pick up my mom and drive back home and in that time just because the car wasn't fully repaired i almost got in like two accidents like the car would go straight up from like zero to like 1000 with accelerating it would be like it wouldn't accelerate and then when it just like it seemed like it would click and it would just go so i was making a right turn at a light people were crossing the street car wouldn't accelerate where I would go and then it, it wanted to like jump and accelerate right when the person was like crossing the streets I almost like hit their ass I was like oh my god this is not good like this car needs to be fixed uh lo and behold it was actually just one part that needed to be changed one fucking part we we, we changed that one fucking part and the car it went from fucking just not good at all to perfectly fine but just changing that one fucking part um well, I guess I'll go ahead and summon Valkyrs. I mean, I can always grab me another Kaleido at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and send Star Eater, summon Valkyrs, and summon Colossalus. Pretty powerful play right there. Uh, you could tribute, but I think I want to hold on everything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Garnet and maybe, maybe a main phase to tribute you and you to draw two. But of course, uh, full helm. I mean, I'm gonna attack and kill the full helm, obviously. Yep. So it's weird that you target me and then you're not destroyed. It's just a really weird play. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna do much with the garden anyway. So you're now dead. It's fine. And I'll go ahead and activate. I will tribute off my Garnet and then my Colossus in hand to draw two cards. And then draw into not anything decent at all. My second Garnet, which means that all three of my Brilliant Fusions, I literally, I was like, I want to play Brilliant Fusions. It's a pretty good card. I can play three, but I don't like the whole one Garnet, three Brilliant Fusions, because if I draw that one Garnet, especially with Number Generator, my three Brilliant Fusions are dead. Let me try play two, playing two Garnets. No. So I literally drew into my two Garnets, and my three Brilliant Fusions are now dead. Because you send from the deck, not from the hand. It's from the hand? Yeah. But no, it's from the deck, which means that that's not looking too hot. And never mind, my opponent's scooped anyway. I mean, I'm assuming he's running X Sabers, but I, I don't know. I just don't see X Sabers going way off. But I guess with the Wrath and the freaking Colossus, he wasn't doing much, right? All right, we'll go ahead and get another duel. Be right back. Just amazing, you know. Look, look at look at all the like really good Pendulum based decks in in Yu-Gi-Oh. Look at how hard they're hit on the list. But that's what you have to do. You have to hit them so freaking hard that. You can't, they pretty much have to be gone because the mechanic is so powerful. It's, it's ridiculous, it really is. It's freaking crazy. Uh, this hand's not that great. It really isn't. Uh, and they made me go first, too. But we already learned from Daily Duels with the freaking Monarchs. I don't like to go first. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love that additional draw and how am I supposed to trish you if we haven't got set up yet, but ugh. Uh, and then he's gonna be playing six samurais too. He's gonna bust out a beast. He bust out a beast. I mean, I'm done. Like, come on. Like, even before pendulum fucking base that he bust out that freaking beast against necro. It's just like fuck. You know what do I do? So that that would not be good for me. Not at all. Not at all. Powerful Bushido, Pot of Greed, just for just for doing your job, just for summoning. You know, love six samurais. And by I've loved six samurais. I mean, I've always hated six samurais. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we, we fixed that one part. Like literally, it was like one part. It was like sixty dollars. We literally just fixed that one part. Is this the guy who says I can only activate one spell card per turn? No. All right. Uh, I'm not really drawing into anything. You know? Like I can maybe start taking, you know, pushing an advantage in this duel. Like, and go ahead, and brilliant fusion. Send you, send you, summon trick clown, which will be fine. I guess I can just go ahead and send Colossus just to get a. Just to get a play like, and put you in the graveyard, hopefully, for a Kaleido. And hopefully, drawing something like I just didn't open up well. Uh. Brilliant Fusion is like what? I pitch a spell and I gain my original attack to the end of the turn or something like that? Might want to do that. Uh, destroy the monster once per turn. You could just order the special monster gains attack on it until the end of your opponent's turn. I might do that. Because, I mean, she at least would be a 23 beater. You know, so we're gonna go ahead and send Garnet. And we'll go ahead and send Truck Clown. Summon her in attack mode, because I'll go ahead and pitch. I don't mind pitching the additional Brilliant Fusion. Go ahead and summon Truck Clown back. I'll probably have to do the Insta Fusion Northern plays, which is fine. And I'll go ahead and activate this. I don't need an additional Brilliant Fusion at this current moment. Increase you back to 23, which means I can kill the 6 armor guy, clone control, blah 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 blah. 
I control if the third round is this card. Card destroys. When this card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Okay, card effect. And you, you just pop something. If you have another scammer, it's not to worry about you. Because obviously, I'll go ahead and go Insta Fusion Norden. Probably go into like a Wrath or something like that. Seems like a pretty good idea. And then I'll summon back that uh, that Garnet. He'll be removed from the field, but as long as I XC with the Norden, he should be fine, right? Summon back in a normal monster. It's effect negated, it doesn't matter, but it, it's a 19 beater, right? Seriously, I'm using, a, I'm using a nice chunk of life points, but I mean, what's there to say, right? And I'll turn you two, a Raph, you, you two into a Raph and then kill you two. So at least I'm in the duel. Am I in the duel in the duel? Not really, but. So you, so you kill you. I'm just hoping I draw into a Necro's monster can start doing some Necro's plays. Might have been best maybe to hold on to that Colossalus, but still, I mean, I need the Kaleido anyway. <laughs> I guess that's fine for now. Necro's near. Uh, it's not really doing much either. <laughs> I'll get lucky and draw into like a... A... Ne a freaking... Trishula or something. So we replaced that part, it was like literally $60, spent that, and then the car went from like being crap to like running like brand new, like the check engine light turned off, the car is running fine, we've been driving it for you know a couple days now, and no complaints, no complaints, you know, and it's just it's just like wow, that's the, all you need to do. And it, you know what the same thing is, is that it was actually the part that he was saying. He was saying like, oh well yeah, it's this map part, you need to do that, but I don't do that job. And then he proceeds to do that job, and it was that exact part too. Uh, well, you already normal summon. I'm thinking about just popping you with uh, um, treacherous. Yeah, yeah. Detach trick clown. No, no. I'll hold off on that because I don't want to burn my life points. I only have 23 left, so. so we'll go ahead and just pop those two monsters so you don't get to do anything. It's fine with me. You want to set some background? That's fine because I got Twin Twister, so. And then I draw a Greki, so I'm not drawing any of my Necro's monsters, just straight up, just <laughs> not goodness. Like, where are my Necro's monsters? Let's go ahead and poke you for 19. I still got my Bottomless, which I did that in the right order, Treacherous. I don't have any trap cards, then Bottomless, so that way I can take advantage of both cards. Go ahead and set that, and uh, I guess I'm done for now, just in case. I'll set the Twin Twister, in case he does something. I mean, it's not like I have to worry about gateway, right? <laughs> I just gotta pretty much keep his uh his Shan away from me. Alright. So summon this. Once you turn your target one sets by a trap, just try that target. And it's just twin twister if you have another six samurai. Just a twister, I really don't care. And then you, you just gain attack. I always hit you with the bottom list. You you might be a little threat too. Then you can kill my trick one. I don't see a threat right now. No, you can't do anything with that, with that, with that. I guess that's fine. If you want to go ahead and use your Yachi to destroy my twin twisters, that's fine. I think I might even just go ahead and pitch just to pop your set card too. I mean it's not like I really need these. I can go ahead and vanish and get another freaking uh Necros card anyway, so. Got the control no card. Well, I mean, getting rid of a deep prison is fine. That's fine. She served her purpose. She literally did her job. <laughs> There's another Colossalus. Can I, like, I was say, can I play Colossalus to summon Colossalus? I could. But still, I do not have fantastic plays right now. So, I mean, obviously, this duel's been super slow. I'll go ahead and kill the keys on because I'm more worried about rank three play. I mean rank four plays and rank three. Like I don't care about Yachi right now. I'm not gonna set anything anyway. It's just like damn. If only I could just draw into next card. Maybe I should have pitched the other one. Maybe I should have picked Mirror and kept Kaleido. Probably messed that up. Because if I draw into like a Valkyrie or a Trish, I can easily bust out that with Colossus. I'm sorry, it's 2020 though. Anyway, I'm just glad the car is complete. It was $1,500 to repair, so, you know, still cheaper than, you know, purchasing a, a new car. But, uh, still, it's just a pain. Yep, 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 definitely should have 
done that the other way. Well, at least I know if these two ever leave the field, I still have plays. So, yeah, so Yachi's not even a threat. If I had, like, I had, like, freaking Bionic right now, that'd be great. Well, I just keep killing your monsters. Six Samurai's gone on the defensive like this, like it's a 1900 normal monster. Like, what, what a threat. And no. Oh, go ahead. I'm still fine. <laughs> this is two at the end of the dungeon step. This card attacks. I enjoy the, the monster that this card attacked. It's controlling their six armored monster with a different name. Solid effect. Blah, blah, blah. I think I'm just going to go ahead and hit you at the bottom list now. Like, nah, you could just go go away. I'll tell you right now, if I ever get that Insta Fusion Morden. Oh, you can destroy him instead. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. Whatever, she's not she's not serving a purpose anyway. Mm-hmm. Like she's literally detached both of the materials, she's just 25 booty at that point. I was, I was totally saying that if I draw into that Insta Fusion Norden play, I'd probably do it. It's just a question of what, are, what do I want to do, you know? I think I'll just throw the Regeki at him and attack him. It's just now it's getting kind of threatening because I'm only at 23, 22, you know? A great play, he could easily turn this duel around. You know, he could easily throw a Regeki at me and like maybe bust out a Shion or something. I mean, at least he's low on resources as well. It's just, I don't really have any plays either. Kind of wish that Garnet was gone too. Garnet was gone, I mean, come on, Necros. I could go ahead and start playing, get my search, banish those two, get a Kaleidos, bust out these two. But as long as Garnet is on the field, just being a night regular 19-beater monster, I ain't doing shit. <laughs> Fuckers too. At least I can block an attack, so at least I'll have to worry about absolutely dying, but hmm. Hmm. So I could banish monsters from your hand or field or banish necro monsters, so no, I can't do that. No, I still can't do much of anything. Like this duel is going extremely slow because I I'm hindered. I said I might think about maybe overextending a little bit next turn, depending on how slow he takes it. All I need to do is just get a little bit in, you know? Go ahead and play Necro's Mirror and banish and then summon Colossalus and get in with the Colossalus. Then I'm worried. I mean, 22, you can't really bust out that much damage without, you know, doing that, so. I can summon you, Trish? Oh, for my hand, and I guess banish. On the field, I'm trying to think of the total level. I think it would be these two and my Colossus banished to summon. Not, I'm just going to summon Colossus, but banish from Colossus. And try to wrap this duel up. This should be game right here. Alright, good. Ah, oh, God, that duel. It's like, what the fuck? I didn't open up that well, but he was at least wasn't playing a really great six hammer. Like I said, one one beast and I would have been done. All right, we'll go ahead and get another duel and bear back. All right, another duel. Hopefully, I open up a better hand. I'd say, uh, please don't tell me it's monarchs. If it's monarchs, I don't want to see it. Like especially since they didn't get held in this list, like I don't think I'll ever be touching monarchs. Like, oh, it's rock stun. Like no, bear back. Okay. I mean, that man was playing Clocky Mirror. I mean, no extra deck still? Like, I get it, you want to stun with your rocks, but no extra deck? Like, not even any toolbox rank swords? Like, I, I can't recommend that, but... <laughs> Do DDs? So I'm in Orthros, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Definitely not the greatest of plays, I can't, I can't say that. Hmm. I can go ahead and get Trick Clown started. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Go for Brilliant Fusion. 
See, I would have dead drew that garnet, and then my brilliant vision would have been dead. Soul turnover. Should be drop two. Okay. So you even out with resources. I mean, Cleese used to play that back when they were in their prime. It's because they would actually get their effects, but you, you just kind of, you didn't get anything from that. You just evened out with resources. All right, and you're just going to end screw. All right, another duel. Bear back. Man, I just want one more good duel in this video. That's it. Just one more good duel, and then we can go ahead and call the video. Ugh, they give me go first again. That sucks. I don't like to go first. <laughs> go ahead and play Brilliant Fusion. And Seth, and Garnet, and Clown. I mean, I could probably drop, put Seth down the one, but there's not too many things I'm actually like I need. I think I'm okay. I just didn't want her to be too dead later in the duel since I'm running three. Yeah. And summon you, get a search. I'm going to search. I guess Brio, then pitch Brio, and then get Trish. It's just I don't have a mirror in the graveyard at this current moment, but I guess I could get one in the graveyard. Trish, that yeah, then if I need to, I can go ahead and pitch Colossalus, get Necro's Mirror, and then banish these two summon Trish, so I'm good. And we'll go ahead and pick these two and make Wrath, because she's so freaking powerful. They just bust out a sim simple Frank 4, and it's just like you get access to Bottomless in your deck. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Like, oh yeah, I should totally to play Tripoles from your deck. Like, mm 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 mm. <laughs> like, seriously. Ugh. So, mom is driving around the car. Wow, lightning vortex. Well, I mean, it was said that it was more busted than Regeki, so I, mean, I have no response to that. Just got my butt smacked, and I'm going against Death Box. Like, ugh. Speaking of mom, I think she's about to walk in right now. Just speaking of her. Like, no, I probably shouldn't do this duel. Like, lightning vortex, people. You missed one. Oh. I think they put that in after I read the mail. I heard them, but I need to go back Hi, to grab people, it. I'm home. Mm-hmm. So summon that two, summon that. You know what? Nah, this isn't going to be a good duel. Let me get another one in. Bear back. Ugh. All right, let's try this again. Like, nah, just death bots. They're just so powerful. DDs too? Like, oh, my God. Mm. Huh. <laughs> Please! Okay. DDDs too? Like, I'm just gonna get the shit kicked out of me. It is not gonna be a great duel at all. Yeah, oh, well, I guess we get to see how good he is. I mean, he opened, seems like he opened up well. So, Newton? Okay. Are you gonna do anything besides that? Oh, one for one, of course. Open up with that one for one. Double Newton, summon the Kepler, get the search too. Probably search for slump, uh, slump. No, Lamia, you're just gonna go straight into, uh, into, uh, Siegfried. But you're not even gonna go into Siegfried. Why would, what's the point in summoning La Lamia if you're not gonna go into Siegfried? Like, am, am I the crazy one here? Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm mm I don't get it. I don't get your place. So, let's see what I wanna do right now. Cause I, I do have some place. Go ahead and summon. Manju, get the search. Even if he stops this with his set card, I mean, I still have plays, but just like, really? Like, that's kind of, you could at least made these two into like a Siegfried or something. I was thinking that you had the Solemn Warning. I mean, why not? You got the Solemn Warning, the one for one, so that's fine. That's fine. And then pitch you, grab you. I would love to get rid of that dark contract, but I don't think that's possible. Oh wait, yeah, it is. That yeah, is with uh, Diamond Dire Wolf with you too, in main phase two. Like what? Do you have something to play during my turn? I don't think you have anything to do during my turn. I don't see anything that that can go off during my turn, unless I'm assuming that you're you're quitting and that we're just waiting for your response because you literally that no 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 like what goes off during my turn? That's waking making me wait. Like, you know you're about to get your butt smacked, so I'm about to play you, summon you to fuck you up. Okay, just gonna go ahead and surrender. Good. Alright, one more duel. God, just give me a good duel. Be right back. I literally spent, like, what, like, the last five minutes just trying to get one more decent duel? What? It's ridiculous. 
I say we still got one more week of this deck, and then I said the deck suggestions and polls should be going up next week, and then. I mean, I don't think we need a third month of Necros, if you guys want it, but I'm just already getting kind of bored of it. I don't want to get fucking Infernoid Spirit back. Please. Like, no, I don't want to see your fucking sacky ass Infernoid reasoning. Like, yeah, I'm glad reasoning got hit back down to one. Good. Oof. Good. That's fucking great. Fantastic. Because, no. <laughs> I was already sick of that shit. Just reasoning, auto win, win more with Infernoid. Like, nah, I bet you actually play your own shit. Too bad. I thought it was dumb when they started increasing and in reasoning and fucking monster gate and shit, but right back to where he was when it all began. Both of us G and TCG, both of them at one. And they've been at one for a cool minute, and they started moving them, and then nope, back down to one. So I'm totally fine with that. I'm just saying, back row? Oh, it's Tramid with back row. Obviously. <laughs> Uh, love to go ahead and play this and get a search, but I'm not sure, so I guess I'll go ahead and just do Brio, give me Colossalus, pitch Colossalus, get me, uh, Kaleido, like, not really sure how this duel is gonna go with this opponent having all this back row, you know? There's no point in busting out the Trish now, but, I mean, busting out the, the Unicorn, I mean, there's no, there's no shame in that game, right? Said I could, I could bust out more than that, than you, and then summon you too. But I think I'm okay with just summoning unicorn. I'm taking it slow. I kind of want to see this deck anyway. I haven't really seen it in action, but if I, if he's just gonna rock stun in me and one up me, then I mean that's what I should probably anticipate. But if he's actually gonna do more than that and actually show me the strength of this deck, then I'm, you know my curiosity is piqued. I'm gonna say probably should have got someone else in Colossus because I can always grab another Colossus with fucking. Uh, preparation of rights. Hmm. He said, all my plays are good and I get to kill your monster without you really doing much with your Master Tramid? Like, eh. I'm not a big fan of you doing that. Go ahead and add my Kaleido back to my hand. If I'd known you were going to do that, probably would have did more with my Thousand Blade, but it's fine. Ah, should have exceeded with him. Should have exceeded with him. I was like, ah, oh, no. But I mean, I guess I can walk him out of extra, but I'm not sure how much of extra deck he's actually going to access. Never mind, he's just going to go ahead and scoop. God fucking damn it. Ugh! Bear pack again. Every do every, it's like, just decent decent duel. Like, I don't want to crush my opponent, but then I also don't want to just get crushed by my opponent, you know? I just want a nice intermediate duel. Just nice, even duel. Holy crap, that's all I'm asking for. This is getting kind of annoying, that... I can't get a decent duel. It's either it's either one way or the other where I'm just gonna get completely sacked or I just crush my opponent because they're not playing anything decent. Like, just please give me a decent duel. Ew, mind control. And then you're gonna synchro with my shit. It's just ugh. Fuck you. I can sack you too. You want to sack me with fucking Mind control, that I'll just sack you and bottomless your fucking crystal. I mean, your clear wing. Like, fuck you. You're gonna take my fucking shit and synchro with it. You can eat a fat dick, sir. You can eat a fat dick. Oh, I can, I can trish him. Yep, I can trish him. Unless this card's to stop me. And give me that trish. That Kaleido. Then this, you two. Okay, is this a strike still at three? Wouldn't be surprised. Ring of Destruction. Okay, well, my effect still goes off. We'll both take 27. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nope. All that nice shit gone. And, uh, yeah, I really don't got much left, so I guess I'll just attack. Wow, Ring of Destruction. I mean, Ring of Destruction's at one. Strike's still at three, so obviously, uh, Strike is not as strong as Ring of Destruction. Uh, I mean, yeah, Ring of Destruction, Compulse, or any of them other cards, you know? Let's say you know if you bust out a, a monster, someone from the extra deck, I can fuck you off with this, right? Nah, it's fine. Is this 
this have some kind of effect? I did not done it so much you can make this card during attack become double its original attack. Copy to zero. Negate your effect. <laughs> double zero is still zero, sir. Like, nah. Did you forget about Colossalus? Get fucked up, nigga. Get fucked. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just go to attack mode and attack him and then activate my effect, drop him down to zero again. Attack. Activate my effect. Drop you to zero again. So it comes down to your set card. If it's not anything, then you lose. Attack or dam? Like, mm. That was that was just I'm done. I'm done. Like I said, it's either or. Either I get completely sacked or I just crush. Like, there's no in between. There's no decent duel. Oh well. Anyway, like I said, car is complete. Everything is fine. Everything is great. Hey, Mom! Mom! Yes. How'd the car run? Wonderful. There you go. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Uh, like I said, I'll be updating all the decks on Daily Duels to fit the new ban list. So, even if I get sacked by people who aren't using the adjusted list, then. That's for well, the updated list. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and update the deck. Some decks got hurt more than others, but we'll try to at least keep everything uh, sane. So, as I said, besides taking out a Norden, I guess throwing in a Thousand Eye Restrict, this deck didn't get hurt too much. It already got its licks, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels. Uh, like I said, uh, deck suggestions and polls going up next week, so look forward to it. Thanks for watching.